Hi everyone. I just want to show you my lemon tree. It's doing really well. It lives here in the conservatory. There is a few baby lemon coming through. And it's looking quite healthy. One is lemon, the other one is lime. I don't really know which one is lemon and which one is lime, so I'm waiting for it to surprise me. When I purchased, uh, when I bought the tree, uh, it was uh, quite small and I knew I was buying a lemon and a lime, but I did not keep the label. So now I don't know which one is the lemon and which one is the lime. So I'm waiting for it to start to ripe and I see which one it will turn yellow. So I'm looking forward to, to see which one is the lemon and which one is the lime. This one seems to be doing better. There is more lemon or lime on this one. And today I just... I purchased this um, heater for the conservatory to keep the conservatory in a nice temperature for the plants and uh, keep it nice and warm. So I'm just going to show you uh, all the plants I have got here in the conservatory. So I got this bougainvillea in the summer. When I bought it, it was almost dying. I bought it from Tesco's. It was a tiny little plant. And it was really sad. I thought it wouldn't survive really. And once I brought it back home with me, it started to lose even more leaves and I didn't know if I was giving it too much water or not enough water. Turns out that I wasn't giving it enough water because as Bougainvillea comes from a hot country, I, I thought that it would like a more dry soil and it does, but it kind of it, it needed to be in between, you know, dry and wet, especially when it's a small, when it's a baby tree, tree. I'm sorry if I am, if I am pronounce it wrong. I always get mixed up between three, the number and tree. I can't, I can't make the difference. I kind of, I always mixed up with the two and how to pronounce it. So this is a chili, chili pepper. So I bought this uh, organic chili from Waitrose. It's one that, it looks like a jalapeno. It's uh, mild, not too hot and not too spicy which I really like to cook with because it's not really spicy but it's still giving that nice taste to the food. It's really nice to, um, you know, cook stew or pasta. And uh, the, it almost died. You can see that the leaves is not looking... Um, well, now it's looking okay, but you can see that the leaves are lost. There is a few uh, pale spots, so it has been attacked by uh, not many bugs. I forgot the name, the black ones. I have to find out the name. I know, I just can't remember now. So I sprayed a few times. I washed it a few times. I have got a few as well outside at the front door it's still outside but soon i'm gonna have to bring it back in and at the ones outside because it's south face there is quite a few um quite a bit of sunshine 
Uh, or today, for example, we did have a quite a nice day. It's quite sunny. So the chilies outside is doing quite well. Now that I bought the heater for the conservatory, I'm gonna bring it in. And I will purchase as well some growing lights for the conservatory. So I have got this bougainvillea here as well, which is doing really well. It's beautiful. I don't know the name of this, but it's a succulent. It's really lovely. There we go, another bougainvillea over there. I can't wait for it to grow. And I take over the conservatory. I have got a few succulents over there. Another bougainvillea. I just bought this one, as you can see. It's look quite bare. I hope the leaves start to grow. So I just bought this is a banana, banana tree. I bought this banana tree from a online shopping called Turn It Tropical. And I was a little bit skeptical. I wasn't very sure because I never really bought plants online. I always go to the garden center or I propagate it or I grow it from seeds. And I decided, I found this outfit online. So I decided to purchase some uh, plants from them. And I'm really, really happy with the condition and the look of the plants. They, are, they all came very well packed and it's looking really good. I just arrived on Friday. So I have got some succulents over there. Oh, that's my messy corner where I keep some um, bottles. I'm going to tie this conservatory up a little bit more because now that I have got the heater and it's going to be nice and warm so we can we can sit out here in the winter and, and enjoy the conservatory, have meals. So I need to sort this out. Unfortunately, I haven't got a lot of space in the house so my tumble dryer is in here as well in the conservatory. So I have got, this is called the lipstick plant. It's doing really well here in the conservatory. It's beautiful. It hasn't flowered for me. So I bought it at the beginning of the year. I don't know, let's see next year if it's going to flower for me. Maybe it's just acclimatizing to the conservatory and maybe next year it's going to um, grow some flowers. This beautiful um, plant here, I forgot the name now, it's native from South America, Colombia, and it grows in tree trunk. It's really beautiful. It's succulent, as you can see, the leaves are quite, leaves hair, I say hair, but you know, it's not really a hair. Um, I thought it liked to be in a more dry side and actually it likes quite a bit of water. I wasn't watering it properly so it was looking a bit sad. It started to go a little bit dry over there so on the soil and so and it started to give it a little bit more of water and now it's looking beautiful. I forgot the name. Again, I'm terrible. I have to label my plants and because it's too many plants, I cannot remember the names and most of these names are long, difficult to pronounce. I will buy some labels so I can um, stick on the soil with their each individual plant, uh, plant's name. So I will be able to give you guys the name of the plant when I am making a video. I am new to this Instagram thing and uh, I never recorded a video before. I'm a bit of a camera shy and I hate to listen to my own voice. 
as well. I don't like my accent. Uh, I'm not gonna show my face because I am in a mess. I'm having a little bit of a lazy Sunday. So I have got this spider, spider plant, which never looked really nice since I bought it. Probably I have it now for over a year, I don't know. I think I'm gonna donate it to someone and buy something nicer. I would keep it if I had more space, I would keep it somewhere, but I, I want to use this space to, you know, put some, 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 something else. And over there on the wall, I love this plant over there. It's a succulent as well, which I don't know the name, as you can probably see. I forgot the name of, I don't know the name of most of my plants. I know, but I don't know. So I'm going to actually have to label each and every one of my children. I say that they are my babies. So this one as well, it likes quite a bit of water as well. You see that is looking a little bit dry because I wasn't giving it enough water. Now it's sprung, it sprung back to life. And let's see. So this is it guys, this is my conservatory. So I've got this huge wooden table, which is lovely, the table, but it's quite a big to the conservatory, really. And this is it. Have, have you all a lovely week. I wish you a very good week. Now here in the UK, it's almost six o'clock in the evening. I'm going to start cooking dinner now and uh, get myself ready for tomorrow to start a new week another week so bye have a good evening everyone bye bye